Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be repotting my Tri-Star or my Tri-Color plant. Now when I got this plant, she was not doing very well. In the box that she came in, it was really, really moist. The plants got, as you can see down here, the plants got really, really moist on the end and when they dried out, this is what ended up happening. But I decided I could save her even though she had so many tips, you can see right here, that are like that. There's just so many. Even the new one that was coming out, as you can see right here, was kind of brown. But I decided to just really work with it and keep it. And then I ended up getting several new ones, including this one that's coming up right here. And it's starting to do super well. I left a lot of the leaves on there that had the brown tips, and there's a reason for that. I usually don't. But if you have, and I found this out with the Pink Princess, if you have leaves that have brown tips and you think you need to cut them off, sometimes you do. But if they have new growth you see down at the bottom, you can leave them. Leave them for a week or two and see if the new growth is going to come out. Sometimes it will, sometimes it won't. If you see that it's not going to, then go ahead and trim it off. But if you have a more expensive plant and you want to see if those leaves are going to come out give it a little time before you trim it and that is the only reason i have left some of these dry leaves because i had a feeling they were going to go ahead and some of the new babies were going to come out that were on them and they did and so i'm going to leave it for a little while and then probably in another few weeks i'm going to see how it's doing and then i may end up trimming them off but it's doing very well what i do is i put this in a south window and I keep it moist. It does not like to be dry at all, so don't let it dry out, but don't keep it soggy. I learned this little tip. If you take a couple glasses of water, little small glasses of water, and sit them in wherever your plants are, they will absorb that water. I don't know how they do it. I, I don't make the rules, but I know that it does work because it's been working with this one. So I just keep setting my little full glasses of water every week, and the water, of course the water goes down because it's going to it's going to dry up, but I believe the plant is getting some nourish, some water from it. So I'm going to continue to do that, and you might try it in yours too. I think there's really something to that tip. So if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Got my new pot that I'm going to put it in. Got, oops, that's a little too much, I think. I'm going to fill it about halfway full. Now these little nursery pots, you can keep them for little beginner plants and stuff like that. But long term, you got to get them out of this pot. You got to get them out of the soil. The soil works at the nursery because they're being taken care of every day with special lights and watered and timers and all that kind of stuff. But when you get them home, things change. The atmosphere in your home changes, and you need to get them out of that and get them into something better. Wow! Look at this. That's weird. Look at that. I have a new baby coming up right there. Can you see that? That's pretty amazing. See, sometimes when you get a plant, you just don't know. Even if it comes to you in bad condition, and you think, oh, it's going to be a loss. That's not necessarily true. You don't know what's going on under the soil. So, just hang in there. If you get a bad plant through the mail, and you think you're going to lose it, there's still hope for it as long as the root is good. Although, I had someone tell me that, and I wasn't very happy about that. I got a plant all broken and said, as long as you have the root, you're good, but that's not really what you want to hear. But at least if that happens to you, you know you still have a good chance for that plant to live. So, but it's always better to get it in the condition it should be and when it's sent to you. I think this plant's going to do amazing in this pot. It ought, see, when you transplant them, look at that. They just automatically look bigger. I don't know what it is. It, the pot and the new soil, they look fresher. They look I don't know, it just does something even to the look of your plant and it just, it makes you happier, it makes your plant happier if they're getting just the right conditions they need to live in. It's like when you get a new home, you feel happier and put all the things you need there and it just feels more comfortable and better. It's the same thing with your plant, it's a living thing. Putting it in a new home that's more specialized to what it needs, it's gonna give you a happier plant. So that's the way I look at it. I treat my plants as if they have feelings. I don't know if they do, but I tell you what, they grow according to how I take care of them. That tells me something. I talk to them too. Now you guys are gonna all think I'm crazy, but I really do. 
I talk to them and I say good morning to them and everything. Sometimes I tried naming them and then I couldn't remember their names because I had too many. So I had to just start calling them by a color or something. <laughs> I call all of them she most of the time. Let me know if any of you guys do that or if I'm the only one that does that. I don't, I don't think I'm going to be the only person that does that. But I put a lot of soil in here because I think it looks full. Now in the center you can press it down a little bit to stabilize it. I want to be careful not to break that new growth to kind of stabilize it, but don't put it too compact. Give some room for the soil and for the, the water to flow in there, for the roots to spread and grow. I think she already looks beautiful. Let's see how she's doing here. Get it a little centered. You want to center it as much as possible. It's just going to grow prettier that way. Does that look pretty centered? I think so. She looks happier to me already. I'm going to water her with some miracle Grow plant food. I'm gonna give her, of course I'm gonna water every week, but I'm gonna give her plant food every two weeks, fertilizer every two weeks, and of course water her once a week. I think I'm gonna give her about three-fourths a cup of water because she likes her water. So that's how I'm gonna take care of her. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, give me a thumbs up. Leave any questions that you have down below. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and tap the, the bell for new notifications. And I will see you in the next video.